All right. Uh, there's something interesting. Uh, it's been pointed out to me by a few people, and I've looked into it, and I've asked around. Uh, people are always looking for evidence that a Switch Pro exists uh, or a Switch XL or something or other, right? We, we, we're always searching for evidence, and the closest we have gotten is Nintendo adding A-U-L-A, Alula. Alula? I can't... I, a la, I, I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but uh, AULA references in their operating systems. Uh, they've done it in the past one other time, and then they did it again uh, with a dock reference in their latest 12.0.0 update. Uh, but now we have something else happen where Nintendo uploaded a trailer uh, from a developer, uh, the, kind of an old school game, coming to Nintendo Switch that features something that has been talked about by Bloomberg, uh, but doesn't actually exist in another Switch. Now, we're going to talk about this feature in a moment, but before I do, I might as well remind you guys, we were giving away $100 in cash, just straight up $100 cash money to one of you lucky listeners out there. Uh, to enter, head down to the pinned comment or to the description to find out how. Now, uh, let's get into this. So this is a trailer for There Is No Game Ron Dimension. I'm just going to kind of kind of play it. It's a really short trailer. Um, it, again, old school game. There, there is a history behind this game. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to do that, dive deep into that, but you kind of get to this point where we're here. What you're seeing right now is a bezel-less switch. Now, technically, I'll pause it here. There is the normal hardware bezel here you're seeing, right? But we're talking about the black bezel that's usually on the inside. Now, I have talked in the past about how when Bloomberg said that there is a 7-inch uh, screen coming on Switch Pro, that uh, they can easily do that by just getting rid of the bezel. Now, again, this could just be an editing mistake. So I, I, I want to be careful here. I don't want to call this a leak. I don't want to call this too much. I just want to talk a little bit about this because technically this has happened before. Um, Nintendo made this mistake one other time in a commercial for Nintendo Switch back in 2017. Now that commercial is no longer online. They have swapped it out. But there was a commercial where uh, there was a certain angle on the Switch. If you looked... Uh, where there was a bezel-less um, you know, switch screen. Now, it could have been a dev unit potentially being used, of course, in that case, uh, or it could have just been an honest editing mistake. Uh, and when I say editing mistake, basically you can superimpose these images on. So you basically take a still image of the switch, cut it out, and then slap the trailer um, or, or, or the image or whatever you're showing behind the switch. That's how this can be done. This is how you see all, all the YouTube thumbnails out there. Sometimes that show a switch pro, um, show like a bezel-less switch. That's all they're doing. They're just cutting it out uh, and then slapping a screenshot or a trailer in it. Uh, but the thing is, is that this is uploaded and I'll show you guys on Nintendo's official channel right here. See Nintendo, this is uploaded on their official channel. And Nintendo is usually very careful about this. Some people might say, hey, whatever, they've done this in many other trailers. Well, I've gone back in all the indie trailers uploaded yesterday. I've gone back, I don't know, a good two years worth of trailers, just glancing at, at just picking trailers at random. And I have not seen this mistake made in any other trailer. So this to me tells me that uh, there's something potentially going on here. And did this just slip through the cracks? Now, I don't know that the new 7-inch bezel switch is going to have the rounded corners, of course. Uh, that is obviously a, a potential giveaway that these rounded corners, that this is just a mistake. But still, I find this to be very fascinating that this is potentially... I'm not going to say it is for sure. This is just a discussion video. This isn't a rumor. This isn't news or a report. This is just a noticing of things by our fan base and, and me confirming and seeing this. Some people think this trailer might even get taken down and re-uploaded once more people point this out. Uh, this hasn't been you know pointed out by a lot of people because, again, this is a small-time game. I mean, this video only has... Uh, you know, 57,000 views, which might seem like a lot, but then, you know, you kind of glance at Nintendo's channel with over 7 million subscribers, uh, and you'll see, like, the actual Nintendo Direct back in February has 2.2 million views. Uh, this Animal Crossing New Horizons thing is 270K. So, like, this is a relatively small video um, that hasn't had a lot of views, and, uh, you know, you're kind of looking at it. It's kind of a mix in that smorgasbord 
of uh, indie trailers yesterday. Uh, so yeah, it's got a little bit higher views because of the indie world that occurred that has 1.4 million views. But in the end, it's it's not like a high view thing, and it's not something that I think most people are even paying attention to. Like I go down into the comments on this video, and you're not really seeing people mention this. I mean, maybe in some newer comments as people are starting. Uh, no, they're, they're just talking about this game and the history of this game. Uh, this person doesn't matter much that the switch this switch model looks different. So it is being slightly noticed uh, that hey, you know, there's something different about this screen and it's it's missing the bezel. Again, this is likely an editing flub. This is likely the developer made this. They took an image, they cut it out, they slapped their trailer behind it, they superimposed it, and this is you know just an editing mistake. However, Nintendo, again, is very particular about the editing mistakes that happen on things that are uploaded to their channel. And this is a pretty big editing mistake. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Is this, you know, it, it, here's the thing. If this isn't, like, an editing mistake... If this is something that the developers are using on the back end, like what a dev unit is, I mean, if that's Switch Pro, it just looks like a normal Switch. Now, again, I don't think this is Switch Pro, but there is talks like a Switch XL. Like, I don't know. Um, Switch Pro, who says Switch Pro is going to look much different than the current Switch? That's the thing, like, who, well, we don't really know. Okay, that Switch Pro is going to be different or use different Joy-Cons or different whatever. For all, all, The only thing we know is that it has a bigger screen. We, it's supposed to have a new dock. It's supposed to output at 4K. But, like, the Switch itself might, might not have to actually look any different, um, you know, just in terms of its overall form factor. I don't think it's actually going to look any different. than Like, I've already said, when they said 7-inch screen, that's literally the Switch without a bezel. So, that is what we have here. Um, I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this. Again, I, I consider this just, like, an interesting find, an interesting think piece. It's just something to get your mind going a little bit. I don't know that there is much here other than a simple editing mistake, but I did want to bring it up. That being said, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little this little video. Again, not a rumor, not a leak, not a report. This is just something I noticed. Other people noticed as well, and I thought it was you know just worth having a little conversation on. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit subscribe, uh, like the video as well. Let's spread spread it around and just have a fun conversation. That's what's most important to me on these videos. Not so much the views, not so much, uh, you know, I, I don't know, not, not so much whatever people think I, I make these, I guess some people think I make videos for money. I don't know. I do, I do factually make money on videos, but whatever. It's all about the conversation for me. I am a gamer. I am a Nintendo fan and I like having conversations. Thought this might be a neat conversation starter. All right, folks. So that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.